pulled up to the local skate shop, crushed. And what do you know? Copped a new tee and some new sneaks. It was a good day. Welcome cool cats and doggies to another episode of Feeding Sneaks. Today we'll be going with the Nike SB Dunk Low White Gum. Now I got black gum, now I got white gum. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to catch all the content we have on this channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below, you bang with it. Now all I need is Wolf Gray. It's lit. Make sure to check me out on all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok. I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice clean shoe. Super clean, but I'm digging this one. Needy. I'm just gonna say off rips right now that somehow I'm digging this SB more than these Kobe's. I never thought I would say that. I do not like that this is predominantly white with this random hit of black. It does not do justice to a Kobe. And I just, I'm so sick about it, I brought it up in another video. If you didn't watch this video, check it out. That's the Halo joints. Nike SB box purple, so it's not special edition. Nowadays, that new special edition box is cream. It's not the colorful joints that you may see behind me somewhere. Size 13, Big Feet Gang Salute. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro. Opening up that box, you get down with your paper, paper, and once you get past that, clean. I'm sorry, it's clean. And someone's like, you're tripping, man. I'm taking Kobe's over these. Listen, yo, I got Kobe authentic jerseys. My Instagram picture's Kobe nines. The gumbo joints has been ever since I made Instagram. I love Kobe's. That colorway of Halo joint is not hitting. It's just not. Yeah, some of my colleagues basic. Well, sometimes basic could do. So these are just fine. Yes. I initially didn't want these, but when you get an SB for retail, you gotta take it. So like I said, I pulled up the Crush for the Udo raffle. And I walked in there and they had just launched their new shirt, so I copped the new Crush shirt. It's black and white. And they was like, yo, good looks for coming through. You that dude. <laughs> you that guy. And I was like, I am. And they said, matter of fact, we got these SBs for you in white. Do you want them? I'm like, yo, my homegirl pulled up and got the black drinks last week, so I doubled up on those because I already had a pair. But let me get the white ones too, bro. And they was like, 115. I was like, bet. I was like, with the shirt, one buck 55. I'm like, bet. If you don't know, skate shops are able to get the black gun and the white gun periodically. So they can just have them anytime they want. they let you know if you're there, you're around, you cop a pair. This is my first time being able to actually do that. So, you know, the homies crush are like 50 minutes away from me. But I had time to finesse, you know what I mean? Go over there and I was able to get a pair. I actually didn't even see them talk about it on Instagram. They just had them in shop. You had to be there. You know, when they said you had to be there, I was there. Your boy was there. This is basically as basic as you can get for SB. Get an all white shoe with a black swoosh and a gum bottle. Your upper consists of two leathers. For your toe cap, it's that regular leather. Most of your overlays feel like that. But the toe box feels a little more plush, as well as your midsection. You do get this black swoosh, but it's really just to have some offsetting colors. There's nothing fancy at all. On the back of your shoe, you have Nike right there in black. This is basically what Elaine would say of Reverse Panda SB. You get Nike right there on the back on your heel tap. You get fat laces, what I love. It's an SB and you know a lot of cushion. So you got a fat, thick tongue. You also have a white Nike tongue tag with Nike SB right there in black. You got memory foam inside your shoe to keep it together when you're skating so it doesn't move around. Nike SB right there in your insole. All white laces, like I said before, but I didn't mention that they have Nike right there in black for the aglets. Bing. A white midsole gum bottom and they're true to size so if you wear a 13 this is perfect for you if you wear a five go get a five these were 110 bucks at the tax i think i paid 115 i think at the fees online you can probably go get them for like a buck 50 i think a buck 50 is still appropriate but if you can get them for retail your local shop you're winning this is just some clean shoe that you can throw on every day you can skate in it if you skate as i've said on the channel i ain't a skater i'm just a sneakerhead but i think this is super clean out of the gum packs which i guess is technically four because you have fogs you have black gum if you haven't seen that review check it out you have white gum this one and wolf gray gum which i still need to get or do i have coming on the way i think this is the worst out of all four but it doesn't mean it's a bad shoe i'm just not a biggest fan I'm just not the biggest fan of white predominant shoes. Grade seven. 
clean, subtle. If I loved white, it did better with white. Also, if this wasn't a skate shoe, I'd probably give it more props. But I give it a seven. It's a nice solid for retail. I can't complain. There's still people out there buying two-tone basic dunks with pleather, black leather. Sorry, plastic leather. And like you could go get these for retail, and this would throw pandas in the trash. I mean, or run amok. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. This is better than the materials you've been getting on those two-tone joints. Clearly, that's not even debatable. So I'm digging them. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to cop any of these at your local shops. Let me know if you're digging just the really basic with the gum bottom. Gum is iconic to SBs. That's why they're doing that, if you didn't know. Or let me know if you're like, ew, I don't like gum at the bottom, or it just messes it all up, or something like that. If you, you know, like, just tell me in the comments. I'll reply back like, ha ha, hi. Good looks crush for the shirt. I could wear the shirt with that, even though I'm not really the big fan of wearing predominant black with predominant white and, and vice versa. That's not me. But I might just for y'all, just because, you know, I mean, good looks. Until the next video, like I said, I'm gonna I'm holla at y'all. Super clean for retail. I barely complain about retail dunks. Bye -bye. I actually wish I had more shoes for retail. Like the last five SBs I've won, I paid resale for. I'm not broke anymore, but like 10 years ago, that could have been the ramen move. I maybe would have had to resort to ramen. Now I could just go down and still buy what I want but I shouldn't be paying the amount of paying on SBs but I'm addicted.